Hello everyone, my name is Ghost. I'm the project lead on the MV-22 Bravo Osprey, circa 2006. Uh, this project has been six months in the making, and I'm extremely proud to have released it under the workshop. Um, this aircraft is a replica, meaning that its startup is uh, very similar to the real one. Uh, there are a couple systems like environmental controls that have been excluded. However, everything flight critical is for the most part simulated. So the the aircraft startup is something that is not intuitive to a lot of users. Uh, so I designed this video tutorial to uh, explain the experience and run through uh, a quick startup. So uh, starting off, uh, I've already brought the aircraft out of the hangar and put the parking brake on so we can hop in. Uh, the parking brake is on by default in the hangar, so you can do the startup in the hangar if you want. Um, getting into the aircraft here, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to turn on our battery and our APU. So once these these two are on, they'll provide power to the most of the aircraft, and then we can hop in the aircraft commander seat. So at this point, we're going to want to turn on our SFD and our CDU ECAS and all our MFDs, and they will begin their 10-second initialization phase. And so now, now that we've done this, we're going to wait for these... MFDs to come online. Once they come online, you should see normal flight. You want to select normal flight that initializes various systems in the aircraft and begins INS alignment. So now that that's done, uh, our next step is going to be making sure the parking brake is actually set. Our rotor brake needs to be cycled and then off. So rotor brake disabled would be uh, the rotor brake off. The next step is going to make sure that the aircraft is clear which we are, we're out of the hangar, and there's no ground crew or anything. Uh, now uh, now that we want to also want to check that we have hydraulic pressure, we've got 4.9 uh, on all three systems, 5.0, we're good, we're good. So we're going to set, you can do this either engine, it's your choice, but I'm going to set the right DCL to, to start. So you move it twice, so past crank and into start. Crank is for crank flush tests and it's not actually uh, start the engine. So now that the engine's kicked on, it's starting to speed up. Uh, if we go to engine stat, we can monitor uh, the engine. Okay. All right, and at this point, we can move it into the fly. And uh, our MGT is going to come up. Our NR is going to go high. There's no there's no load on the on the rotors right now, so that's that's normal. So now we're going to want to do the same for the opposite side. We're going to move. The ECL to start, and then once things are beginning to stabilize here, we're going to want to move it to fly. Once you move it to fly, you'll see the MGT uh, begin to average between the two. This is just representing that the load between the engines is uh, is equalizing because of because they're inter interconnected. After this has been done, and you've verified that ECLs are in fly, another thing to check is make sure that you don't have an INS align warning by pressing CA. CA will bring you the caution advisory page. Um, there's no INS align warning, so I'm good for takeoff. So I'm going to disable the parking brake in my taxi forward here. So actually, I'm just going to take off. Uh, takes off smoothly. Uh, smooth application of uh, the thrust control lever or your throttle is best for takeoffs. Uh, you don't need to be careful with it. Uh, the aircraft is balanced. I spent a lot of time making sure that the, uh, the takeoff experience is as smooth as possible, especially with the flaps. Uh, the flaps are automatic and will adjust themselves, and the, the flight controls will trim to adjust for the flaps as well. Uh, so now that we're in the air, we can raise the landing gear. Uh, it's got tricycle retracting landing gear, and from this point, it's, it's smooth sailing. Uh, you can bring your nacelles down. You'll notice that'll be reflected on your... Uh, your uh, SFD, your secondary flight display. And at this point I'd like to conclude the tutorial. Um, and if you have any questions about this or anything in this aircraft, because there, there are a lot of systems that are simulated in this, uh, please reach out to me. Uh, my Discord is ghost 9493 I'd ask that you either uh, DM me or find me in the dedicated server for my replica aircraft or the official Discord, that works as well. Uh, just send me a message and I'll do what I can to help you.
Uh, and then, uh, if that doesn't work, leave a Steam comment. Uh, I've been checking them frequently, so I'll continue to check them frequently into the near future. Aside from that, uh, have fun with this aircraft. Uh, it took about six months, actually. I started it immediately after the S3 was completed. Um, and then, aside from that, uh, have a good one.